Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to my channel. I'm into Stitchcraft, not Witchcraft. So I hope you stick around and enjoy my yarny adventures that I've had this week. There haven't been very many because I've been addicted to watching Snuggle and Snore, British Bulldog Chronicles. Krista from The Secret Yarnery got two new puppies, British Bulldogs, and she started a new channel. And I have subscribed and I'm addicted to watching these cute little puppies. If you haven't checked it out, head on over there. I'll leave a link to the channel below, especially if you like puppies. I can't seem to get any crochet, knitting or craft work done because these puppies are so cute. Anyway, I still haven't bought any yarn this week as far as acquisitions go because I'm still trying to stick to my yarn bang. But that may finish today because I have to go to Spotlight to pick something else up and the yarn aisles call me. They send out their siren call and it's really hard to resist. However, I did go to Lincraft early in the week because they had a bit of a sale on and first time ever I actually had a coupon. It's something they've decided to do. I don't know if they've done it in the past, but I had a $10 coupon. I needed some knitting needles. I had to settle for bamboo. I can't get chai goo here, and they're really expensive online. I really would like some chai goo knitting needles. Might have to wait till I go to Europe, but I bought Knitting needles in bamboo in the round because I have a project that I need those for that I'd like to do. And a young girl at the markets, which we had last week, asked me about crochet tops. And I found this Linkraft pattern and that's what attracted me, the blue, because I've got a lot of blue. I had some blue in my stash and my yarny friend in the yarn swap, Libby, sent me some blue. So yeah, she asked me about tops. I found that. There's that one. There's this one on the back. It's only a fold out pattern. And then inside, stretch you to the website to make some bags in Lincraft cotton. I thought it was pretty cool. So that was on sale. And someone asked me at I think it was Cairns Ravaliers about the bilby pattern and my dog is called Baxter and I found Baxter the bilby knitting pattern and friends. There's, I think there's a wombat. I'm not sure what he is. Let me have a look. I think he's supposed to be an emu, this one. And then there's Kit Koala and there's, so Kit Koala, Baxter the Bilby, Ellie the Emu, it's quite big, so maybe I'll do it that way. Wanda the Wombat, Ellie the Emu, Baxter the Bilby, and Kit the Koala. So I think I'll make the Bilby, my dog Baxter's a little snoodle. I'll put a photo of him at the end of the video of him at Christmas in what we call his turkey coma because, yes, I do turkey at Christmas. It's quite a cute photo. But, yeah, I think I'm going to make Baxter the Bilby. I've started to do a little amigurumi-type stuff. Knitting's probably easier for me, but my problem is the faces. I'm not very good at it. So they were my three acquisitions that, with the sale, and my voucher, knitting needles, two patterns, I paid $2. What a bargain. I hope I get more vouchers. Such a bargain, $2. So, as far as finished objects go, well, this was last week, but I forgot to show you. This is Bruce, and that's a coat I made for Baxter at a Bernay Pet that was on special. Actually, when I got Baxter, he was 14 weeks old and he was called Bruce. But we had to change his name because I have a neighbour called Bruce and every time I call Bruce, he'd look over the fence and go, hey, what do you want? And I'm like, oh, I was calling the dog. So 
We changed his name to Baxter when he was quite young and he's used to it now. But I made him a dog coat because it's been quite cool here. He wouldn't stay long and sit and stand long enough for me to show you guys. The dog coat pattern was yarn inspirations. I'll just put Bruce down. That was the pattern. It comes in different sizes. So let me see if I can get that to work a little better. What can I say? I'm not a fan of Bernay Pet. I do have another ball of that in the same colour because it was on special. And I'm not a fan of Yarn Inspirations patterns because I find them difficult to follow without the video along because there seems to be always a bit of a gap somewhere in the pattern where it doesn't work. And Mikey or whoever does it different in the video. But anyway, I made it wasn't easy on the hands and I can't say I enjoyed that project but I actually finished that last week for Yarn Bingo and for Baxter because it's got really cold here and he keeps looking for another jumper even though he's got about six and it's a long weekend here so I decided after looking at all the whips and not finishing anything and waiting for this I would yesterday it was Friday show day no, I didn't enter anything in the craft for all my friends who kept trying to encourage me. Every time I look at it, the rules and conditions just drive me nuts. I'm not sure I will, maybe when I retire. But yesterday I spent, because it was so cold for me, it was like 13 degrees, I spent the day finishing whips. Now, I may have told you I started a trauma teddy. This is my G.I. Joe trauma teddy. He needed a head filling and a face and I finished him you'll get donated to crochet for cancer it's probably the third trauma teddy I've made and it'll probably be the last I get as far as doing up to here because it's crocheted in one piece you have to stick to their pattern and then I get to the head I'm not keen on the head and I'm not great with faces and anyway I finished him because I didn't want to leave him unfinished I finished a second because I made one last year which is hat I got two of these buckles at a charity shop and I made one for a little girl last year and someone else has asked me for one because they remember it for this year and I made that for yarn bingo as my novelty hat when I take a photo um, it's made in the soup um, USA style spotlight yarn which is about a 12 ply I think it's quite thick it does stand up I think it's a bit crooked but like her mum said the witch's hats are never perfect but I don't, I don't really I didn't follow a pattern it just sort of if I did learn it it was years ago and it stuck in my memory because I just followed that and put a bit of a frill around it it does sit nice when it's on but I'm not putting it on even though I'm witch beast craft the markets went really well and I always sell and I have for years a lot of little headbands and I'd made half made this flower because it's sort of an orangey speckledy headband and I had this leftover from a beanie I made from for Emma and I went through my button stash and put a center in it and stitched it to the headband. They keep, little girls seem to love these at the charity or craft market I have and I sell these really cheap. We make a bit of money, but it's usually scrap yarn and buttons from a charity shop. And then, and I don't know what I've done with the finished one. Oh, excuse me, it's fallen. Keep trying to come up with gift ideas for a lady at Crochet for Cancer who's giving gifts to our First Nations people way up north, um, the elders, and she's asked for crochet gifts. So I made Bag O' Day's sunglass case. I'll put a link to this pattern below. It's lined. I got a couple of pairs of sunglasses. And I made this. And I really like it. It's easy to follow, like all of Crystal's tutorials. I've made that. And I've actually half made. A second one because I have another pair of sunglasses that I got I've just got to line it and it's 
my reason to go to spotlight because I don't really have a suitable color to line it and then that's finished and that'll get donated so that was for charity and that is a sum total of the finished whips I've done this week because I've been working on my son's blanket and I re-picked up the whip of another Rocky Road blanket I'm doing in a lavender color of Lion Brand's one pound a baby blanket I'm determined to get some things finished instead of keep starting things. I have a two tea cozies on the go that I've got to finish. I broke my rule of maximum of five whips. When I wrote them down, I had 10. And a lot of them were just little finishing things I needed to do to get them finished. So the charity store last week I told you about went reasonably well we made a bit of money for me of my stuff that I sold I sold five tea um, cozies I'd made different ones the Vegemite tea cozy was really popular I thought I was going to have a bidding war six hanging tea towels two little dog coats my shawlette my Milo Minute blanket and three headbands and the lady who bought my Milo Minute blanket wants me to make some different wheelchair blankets I think she said both her brothers are in wheelchairs and she finds it difficult to get men's colours and if I could do two in men's colours. So that was it. We did sell other things but they were my crafty things and that I consider quite well. Oh yeah, I sold three headbands, like things like this as well. Um, so an update on Austin's travelling blanket. It's... um. Now with, because I lost track of it, Tasha's Yarny Creations. She's had it. She's finished it. It looks awesome. It is big and it's on its way to Debbie, the Canadian crotcheter. And I can't wait for what she comes up with because she picks some amazing colours. I like watching her channel because to see what she's up to. So if you've lost track of Austin's Travelling Blanket, check out Tasha's Yarny Creations. See what she did. It's a small channel. Stay and subscribe. Give her some yarny love. I'll put a link to her channel below. So there you have it. That's my week that was. And my next video is going to be about reaching 500 subscribers. My yarny venture adventures since January the 28th, 2019, when I started my channel with my yarny adventures. So if you've been a loyal subscriber, thank you so much. If you're new to the channel, I hope you like what you see. Everybody give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned for my 500 subscriber. Thank you and appreciation. Until next time, guys, have a crafty day and take care of each other. Bye for now.